Well, pipe bombs spread fear all over the country. Tri-state businesses, among many, monitoring things very closely today. Their plans to keep you and your family safe. Another busy day here on the Now Cincinnati, and we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Companies throughout Greater Cincinnati are double-checking their mailroom procedures today because numerous suspected pipe bombs, like the one you see there, were mailed to many people critical of President Donald Trump. The Now's Tom McKee joining us now live from our newsroom with what local officials are doing to keep you safe. Tom? Well, Tanya, dozens of packages come into the Channel 9 mailroom every day, and there's a specific procedure to follow if something is out of the ordinary. Law enforcers tell me there's no credible threat in the region right now, but they're monitoring things very carefully just in case. The devices that have been found certainly look real enough, but nobody is saying whether they're actually capable of detonating. However, even that possibility is why the folks at the Greater Cincinnati Fusion Center are in constant contact with the other 78 fusion centers across the country. Major Mike Hartzler of the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office has the local effort. There are no credible threats to our area, our region, um, that we're aware of at this time. But that doesn't mean people should let their guard down. The often repeated adage of see something, say something still holds true. But if you see something that is that a place that you find suspicious? Just step away from it, don't touch it, and notify the authorities. The devices were sent to former Presidents Clinton and Obama and others who've been critical of President Trump. Mr. Trump vows to find out who is responsible. Any acts or threats of political violence are an attack on our democracy itself. But the president also pointed a finger at the media. The media also has a responsibility to set a civil tone and to stop the endless hostility. No matter what the motive, Major Hartzler is concerned about more pipe bombs being sent. We don't know at this point whether they're viable and that we have to be careful and cautious because there may be copycat type of events. Law enforcers are united behind just one sentiment right now. We want it to stop. This is out of place in this country. It's, there's no call for this type of behavior. The mob mentalities and, and this type of behavior is just unacceptable. So what should you do if you see a suspicious package? Tips from the experts are coming up on 9 on your side at 5. But for more on the, where the investigation stands right now, let's get right away to Kamasi. A massive manhunt now underway for the person or group sending bombs through the mail. At least 10 packages have been intercepted, all addressed to the Clintons and Obamas and other harsh critics of President Trump. The Now's Chris Welch keeping us updated today. When spread out on a map, the number of suspicious packages sent to critics of Trump is staggering. Discovered today, two sent to former Vice President Joe Biden found at postal facilities near his Delaware home and one sent to actor Robert De Niro's Manhattan office. Clearly there's a pattern. Uh, it does appear to be very consistent. Each of these packages coming from the exact same person or people, the exact same style, the exact same materials. Uh, we have every reason to believe there might be some more. But who that person or people are is the biggest question still puzzling authorities. President Trump in a rally last night first condemning the attempted attacks. No nation can succeed that tolerates violence or the threat of violence as a method of political intimidation, coercion or control. But then on the same day one of the packages arrived at the New York offices of CNN, he pivoted blaming the media. The media also has a responsibility to set a civil tone and to stop the endless hostility and constant negative and oftentimes false attacks and stories. He went even further in a tweet this morning saying, a big part of the anger we see today in our society is caused by the purposely false and inaccurate reporting, adding the media, quote, must clean up its act. But many have looked at the president's own pattern of heated rhetoric as playing a role, including just last week when he praised Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte, a man who pled guilty to assaulting a reporter. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my kind of... He's my guy. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders pushed back. Look, the president's uh, condemned violence in all forms, has done that since day one. The idea that this is at the hands of the president is absolutely ridiculous. Reporting for The Now, 
I'm Chris Welch.